All right, <clears throat> we're going to look at a little bit more complex equations. Because maybe they're not just a fraction times a variable equal to a number. Maybe we have other operations involved, such as sums or differences, maybe multiplication or division. So when it comes to problems like this, we can eliminate the fractions because it can become troublesome and, and hard to account for all the values if we leave the fractions in there. Because we have this tool of what we do to one side, we do to the other. So how do we utilize that tool to eliminate the fractions, to just make them go away? Well, we write an equivalent equation by multiplying by the LCD. So the first thing, step one, is find the LCD. Well, I only have one fraction in this case, and so my denominator is 3. If that's the only denominator, 3 is my LCD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. So we found the LCD. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by that LCD. Well, here we have to be careful. There's some distribution we have to do. We have to distribute this to both values. 3 times x over 3, the 3's will reduce, right? We think of this as 3 over 1. That's going to reduce to 1. All it leaves us with is an x. When I multiply 3 times negative x, that gives me a negative 3x. And then on this side, if we multiply 3 times negative 6, we get negative 18. And now what we have to do is combine like terms. So step one was determine the LCD. Step two was multiply both sides by that LCD. Now we just need to simplify and solve as we have always done. We have 1x, and we're going to take away 3x's. So 1 minus 3, different signs. We're going to find their difference. The difference of 1 and 3 is 2. 3 is larger than 1, so it maintains that negative. So now I've combined like terms, and now it's just like the previous example. I can multiply by the reciprocal of this coefficient. Well, the reciprocal of negative 2 is negative 1 half. Multiply this times that. And actually, I should put my parentheses this way. And then this is going to be multiplied by a negative 1 half. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Now, a negative times a negative is positive, And half of 2 is 1, 1x. That was our goal. That was the purpose of multiplying by that reciprocal. A negative times a negative is positive. 18 can reduce that to 2 goes into 18 9 times. x equals 9 is our solution. How do I know I'm right? Go back and plug it in and see if it makes a true statement. So if I put 9 in for here, and I'm going to skip the work, 9 over 3 is 3. 3 minus 9, different signs find their difference. 3 minus 9 is a negative 6. This was equal to negative 6. So I did check my work. You might want to show those steps until you're very comfortable with doing these problems. So let's look again at a more complex equation where we have more than just one fraction. I'm still going to do the same method. I'm going to first determine the LCD. And I always like to write it down so I don't forget it. The LCD of 5, 4, and 20. Well, I see 20 is a multiple of 4, and it is a multiple of 5. 20 is my LCD. So now I have to say, well, if I multiply both sides of the equation by 20, and what I do to one side, I do to the other, we're going to see these fractions just disappear. 20 times 4 fifths. Well, let's think of it again as 20 over 1. 20 and 5 have a common factor of 5. So this will reduce that to a 4, 4 over 1. So let's, we've reduced it. 4 times 4 is 16. And then we distribute the 20 to this term. Now, that's why I didn't cross this out, because I have to use it during the dis distribution. But the same thing's going to happen. The 4 will reduce this 20 to a 5. And now I can multiply. 5 over 1, or 5 times x, is going to give me 5x. And it's a positive, so we have 16 plus 5x. I just distributed this to get that, distribute it to this to get that. And now we work to this side. Well, 20 over 20 reduces all together. And I don't have to worry about remembering what value, because there's only one term there. 
And now if we look at it by multiplying both sides by the LCD, there's no more fractions. We can simply get x by itself. So to do that, I have to undo this addition. So I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides. 16 minus 16 is nothing. Nothing plus 5x is just 5x. 21 minus the 16 on this side is going to give me 5. And maybe intuitively, you can see the answer. But let's go further. To undo this coefficient, I'm going to multiply by its reciprocal. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. And we can see, hey, these 5's are going to reduce 1x. These 5's are going to reduce 1 times 1 is just 1. x equals 1. Always check your work. We go back 4 fifths plus 1, that's my value of x, fourth, equals 21 twentieths. Is that a true statement? Well, we have to have a common denominator, which for 4 and 5 is 20. So I have to multiply this by 4 over 4, multiply this by 5 over 5. This gives me 16 twentieths. Hey, that 16 came back. That's, that's a good sign. And 5 twentieths. 16 and 5 is 21 over 20. 21 twentieths. True statement. I checked my answer. I know it works. All right, one more example here. Here we have y over 3. And this is just a different way of writing 1 third of y. This would say y is divided by 3. So I do this just so I don't lose track that I'm dividing by 3. Now, if I look, I've got to be careful. There's y's in two different places. So eventually, I have to combine like terms. But let's get rid of this fraction. To eliminate a fraction, and there's only one of them, I multiply by the LCD. And in this case, because there's only one fraction, it's 3. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. 3 times 1 third is just y. And then here, I have to distribute it. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. 3 times y is 3y. Now, I need to get my y's by themselves. But they have to be on the same side of the equation in order to do that. Well, I can simply undo this addition. So I'm going to take away 3y's from this side because I want them over here. Well, what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. y minus 3y's, well, this is 1y minus 3y's, negative 2y. The difference of 3 and 1 is 2. The larger value is negative. And here, 3y minus 3y, that goes away. There's no more y's on that side. And now we're ready to solve for y by using the tool of multiplying by the reciprocal. A negative 1 half. This is the reciprocal of negative 2. What I do to one side, I do to the other. So negative times a negative is positive. Half of 2 is 1. 1y one is just y. Negative times a negative is positive. Half of 12 is 6. y equals 6. Then we'll go ahead and check our work. All right, one last one here. And I'm going to leave this one for you to do. And I'll give you a little hint here. You can do some simplifying sometimes before you begin solving the equation. So that's my hint for this one. Go ahead and try it yourself. Thank you for watching.